as possible. All right, with that recap, let's let's do like this. Let's clean up the chart and let's start from scratch. Let's go to the daily time frame. And let's start with Manera, as always. Let's go to the daily time frame. Bam. And guys, type it in the chat box if you want me to, if there's some, a certain pair that you want me to check up on. What we mostly focus on on this channel is the is gold, is crypto, first and foremost, Bitcoin, and Euro USD. Sometimes we, we look at other pairs as well. So if you got a pair that you want me to check out or analyze, let me know. Right now we're sticking to gold and see what gold got for us. Uh, sorry, not gold. I mean Euro USD. That's what we're looking at now. Monero ain't got nothing for us here. So let's dive into trading view and let's take it from beginning. So. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna break down Euro USD from all the way from daily time frame down to hourly time frame. To see where we are and if we can find something nice for us to jump into. Guys, do you see what I see? So, we're in the sweet spot and we, we retrace back at the sweet spot. And it's those, it's the filled uh, lines that I'm looking at now, not the, not the striped. So the filled lines is at basically the sequence from this top to this bottom here. Looking at the Fibonacci sequences and um, I see that we are taking support against the 50% Fibonacci retracement. Actually, it's resistance, but I don't want to confuse you guys. Support. And um, in the same time, we got support against the 200-day EMA. So let's see, which means it's a very strong support. And it's on a daily time frame, which makes it even stronger. So... I think the support is very strong that we're at right now, and it will take a lot to break it. Not only that, if we look at it closer, we'll see some. You'll see something else. So let's go to the four hourly time frame. Let's see what we got. So yeah. So if you look at this. This is a zone that market has been rejecting a lot, all right? Even here, you see, like, it rejected exactly this zone. Rejected. Chopped. Didn't know what direction to go. Was facing support, was facing resistance. Came down, support, support, support. So, strong zone. And... If we break this, then we then I believe that we're gonna see a long drop down. And we got a long way down to go. Alright? Like that song, way down we go. Okay. Go. Go 
this is our area of support right now. Support actually started already here with the 200 day EMA, but I'm gonna have the zone down here. I can actually do it like this. So from the bottom where this wick wick's touched. So to go for sell on Euro USD, I wouldn't touch it before it go breaks through this zone. So I like inside here, I wouldn't touch it. To go for a buy, maybe. Like I, I would rather go for buy right now than, than for sell because we got a lot of support. We got very strong support. And if market comes down to this zone here, you're gonna see it chopping chop a lot around a lot there. If not due to some news or something that going to push it in either direction. And then it's the question, is there a sell? Uh, sorry, a buy. As I said, sell, there's nothing for us right now. Do we have any buy? So to check that, I'm going to first remove some of these lines. So we got a nicer chart to look at. Let's go to the four hourly time frame. Let's see what we got. So what I'm doing right now is just I'm just looking for levels in the market. I want to see where we got support, where we got resistance, um, what level basically the market is looking at and facing. So for us to have a buy trade on this. We need to break above this orange zone, this orange resistance zone. I can even put it like this. So, first of a buy trade, we need to see this. And that would give us a buy trade. So, right now we're in a no trade zone but that can change very quickly as we know thing why a buy trade would be attractive here is because we got a lot of liquidity here whenever you see candles like this there's a lot of liquidity that needs to be filled which means the the price the market will probably be uh, not probably it will be attracted to move towards that direction so even if the market wants to drop more what will ha uh, very often happen is you see market come up fill this liquidity here and then drop down so basically like a fake out and what we then do is we catch those moves we uh, anticipate those moves so this is what i'm seeing right now for EURUSD. um 
I'm seeing a no trade zone and a potential buy if we come up above this line here and retest it. Otherwise, if we keep dropping, then it's a sell if we retest this zone here. All right. And if that would happen, that's a severe sell. That's a. I'm actually hoping for that sell because that sell is big. It's a lot of pips to catch there. 170 pips. At the same time, I'm not hoping for it because I live in Spain, so I deal with Euro, and uh, it's not good for me when Euro loses value. So, yeah. That's that. Let's 